Hi everybody. My name is Mrs. Marshall. Your child calls me either Senora Marshall or Michi Macho. And this is the class that they come into. So this is the classroom that we live in for 40 minutes every day. Lots of stuff. You'll see I've got so much stuff hanging on my walls and all of those words are to help show your student that Todo es posible en la clase de español. Everything's possible in Spanish class, even them speaking Spanish, though they may not know a word on day one. So I give them lots of supports. We go very slow and I point and I pause and I give them opportunities to digest what I'm saying, do lots of listening, lots of talking. And hopefully while they're here, they find it to be a fun time, fun experience. When the kids come into the room, we start usually with calendar talk. That means we talk about the calendar that's right there over my shoulder. What did they do over the weekend? What are they gonna do this coming weekend? How are their classes going? What activities are they doing over after school? So many options to talk about, and all of it is about what they are interested in and what they like to do because that's what they're interested in. You'll see that I have two rows of seats. I also have some extra seats. I've got a fun green chair in the back. I've got some tire seats that the kids can sit in. I don't generally assign seats unless I'm having a a problem getting someone's attention or it's easier for someone to focus somewhere but for the most part as long as things are going well and easily for people they sit wherever they want and they can change their seats every day. I love to use technology in the class. <laughs> I love Snapchat filters. It's fun to make stories with them. Little short movies for the kids. Makes it fun. <laughs> I also love my Bitmoji. We do special person interviews on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's where we talk about one of the kids and we ask them questions and um, find out all about them. And the other student's job is to pay attention and learn about their classmates. And this is how we build community. And when the kids get quizzed, they get quizzed on what they know about their classmates, not on their Spanish. Spanish is just the vehicle that we use to learn about each other. We also make up stories in this class. I'll ask them a story. That means I ask them for all the details. Is there a boy or a girl? What's their name? How old are they? Where are they from? They give me all the details. What's the problem? And then we make up the story together. And then they're really invested in it because they've created it and they remember it and we practice it and we do all sorts of things. And this is how they're really going to learn because then we write it up and they can read it and they're creating language and it's cool. My goal is for class to go really fast and to be really fun. I want them at the end of class to be like, oh my goodness, we have to leave already? I can't believe class is over already. If they feel like that, then I have been successful. I do a lot of brain breaks, short games, that means like 30 seconds to a minute, maybe two minutes. And it's enough to get them up in between activities and moving so they feel like, wow, things are happening. And it goes fast and then boom, on to the next thing.